Hey, what's happening? Good one, Sir James coming at you guys with another video. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful time. As for me, my week isn't too bad until I found out that basically almost everyone in the family went to watch Pacific Rim 2 without me and it was my idea for all of us to go as a family to watch it. So they basically went without me and my dad. So go figure, upset about that one. And of course, at the same time, since we're now in April, waiting for God of War to release is killing me. So I kind of need to do something to kind of put my mind at ease and just kind of ignore God of War until that time comes. So time is going by really, really slow. Anyways, like I said, I have a GameStop haul this year with you guys. I have a lot of products here, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and quickly go over two different things. The first one as far as reviews go is that I have three upcoming reviews here on the channel. The first one is based on Skyrim VR for the PC side of things uh, because Skyrim came out uh, for the VR version I should say came out um, back in I think it was November for PlayStation VR first and then it was a few months later until it came out to the PC one which was just a couple of days ago. So that's the one I was personally waiting for which basically it's Skyrim and VR. That's as much as you need to know, to be honest. Uh, the second thing is, there's a couple different products by the same company, Nyko. They were kind enough to send me two different products. And even better, they actually sent me the same product for both versions. So in this case, for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, the first one is in regards to the intercooler grip, which is basically a fan attachment, which is basically goes to the bottom of the controller, keeping your palms nice and cool. So it was about like a month ago when they gave me like a list of items and said if there's anything here that caught my interest, I kind of went for like the, the strange and kind of unknown uh, category because those things tend to do well here on the channel as well. And sometimes there's some neat surprises. I mean, fun fact, if you actually go to my channel page and look for my most viewed video, it's gonna be Power Rangers Super Samurai for the Xbox 360 Connect. I kid you not, that's my highest view video here on the channel. And the other item, which I thought this was a pretty cool concept, whether or not if these are actually going to be pretty good, we're going to have to find out, which is basically called SpeakerCom. Again, we also have one for the PlayStation and Xbox. I actually currently have one out of the box attached to my Xbox One Elite controller, which is right here. And on the back, it basically has these green buttons like a push to talk. I'm assuming on PlayStation it's going to have blue buttons more than likely, but on the Xbox it's green. Uh, so again, I don't know if this is going to be really good or not, but like I said, the whole reason why I have these is of course to test them out, try them, and of course to provide you guys with my honest opinion of what do I think about the product. And of course I am not being paid to promote or sponsor that product at all, just so you guys are aware. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the GameStop haul, starting off with an update as far as my God of War pre-order. The Stone Mason Collector's Edition is fully paid off and ready to go. As for the God of War PlayStation 4 Pro Limited Edition, in a couple of days, or maybe tomorrow, I'm actually gonna put my PlayStation 4 Pro up for sale, and I'm gonna try to get around, because I'm also bundling, bundling it with a couple of games, so I'm hoping to aim around $320. If not, then 300 will be the lowest that I'll go for. And once I add that on there, basically the only thing I had to pay out of pocket would probably be about 40, 50 bucks, and then I'm basically good to go. So that's the update in regards to that. Next up, of course, since we're talking about God of War, is of course I found a figurine made by NECA. This is a seven inch Kratos figure, uh, which I found at GameStop. I've also seen it at Best Buy. And besides the seven inch version as well, I've seen one for a much bigger scale. I think it's like a one fourth scale, um, but that one's about like 130 to 150. I've seen it in a few different prices online. Uh, but for this one here, this is about 20 bucks. He comes with three accessories. You've got his big old shield, which can't attach to his arm, but you just gotta remove a peg here. You also have the Leviathan X. And you also have a dagger in the back with some really good points of articulation, but not to the point where you could pose them in many ways. This is probably like the best pose you can get with them, just so you know. Now the next item in question is a microphone. And I ended up selling my Blue Yeti microphone to buy a Blue Yeti microphone. I know that makes no sense whatsoever, but let me go ahead and clarify. The Blue Yeti microphone that I have is the big old desktop microphone, and it's something that I absolutely love. It's what I use when I'm doing like voiceovers for like the reviews, or of course when I'm doing like the news videos and whatnot. And then uh, basically it's to the point where I wanted one of a different color, but of course, you know, 
in order for me to do that, I had to sell my old one, which I got a really good amount for it. I mean, I asked an honest price and then um, someone was willing to pay the price for that uh, in a good way and then they were happy with their purchase. So I like to make sure that if I sell anything online, I'm honest with what I'm selling and the person was happy what they're getting. And I always offer a seven day return policy, even though technically you don't have to, uh, but you know, I like to be that way. So the microphone in question I got is this one here, which is the Assassin's Creed Yeti microphone. This is a bundle where you get a red coloration of the Yeti microphone, which honestly, this doesn't scream Assassin's Creed. If anything, this screams God of War, which I'll show you why in a moment, even though you can kind of see a picture here. Um, but basically you get the Yeti microphone and you also get a free digital copy of Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, I don't know how much this was originally, but it was about $100 because it's went down recently in price. There was other bundles too. There's like the Watch Dogs 2 one where you get like a blackout edition microphone. And I think Best Buy also did one. I don't know if that promotion is still going where if you get like the blackout edition of the Blue Yeti microphone, or maybe it's just a Blue Yeti in general, then you get a free copy of a uh, not Assassin's Creed, uh, Far Cry 5 for the PC, which honestly is a pretty good deal. But that one's about 110. And so now I have Assassin's Creed, or actually the entire series on PC. And here is the microphone in person. So it has a really nice color scheme. I liked it. Like I said, seeing this in person, it just, what comes to mind is God of War. That's all I think about when I see this Blue Yeti microphone. Just, I don't see anything that screams Assassin's Creed, to be honest. I mean, unless if they would have done like some type of design on it, or maybe if they were to remove the blue logo and put like the Assassin's Creed symbol, then I could see. But yeah, like I said, this screen's more God of War. So it has that nice uh, dark red color tone. And as for the base, which is the other thing I like too, it has this nice dark metallic silver to it compared to the other one where it's just like this bright shiny silver tone that I had. So there's that. And next up, let's go ahead and get to the games and console. All right, so the first one is one that you guys were probably already aware of because I did upload the first 32 minutes of the game, which is Far Cry 5. Now, I did already recently beat Far Cry 5, which my grand total doing the main missions and some side objectives took me about 24 hours to beat the game. It could have been less if I didn't do some of the side missions. But yeah, about 24 hours it took me to beat. But then again, there's plenty of side activities for me to do. So initially I could get a lot more out of it, but just beating the main story took me basically just a single day. But it took me a few days to play because I didn't play it all in one session. But other than that, uh, I will say Far Cry 5 is actually an enjoyable game. And as for the main villain of the game, in this case, the father, uh, he was actually not too bad of a character. There's actually kind of a moment in the game that I did tend to feel sorry for him. Um, but other than that, again, one to pick up. So if you're waiting for a price drop, uh, it's definitely going to be well worth your money. Uh, next up, we have some Xbox 360 games, uh, most of which aren't really backwards compatible and some are. Uh, for example, the first one here is the Halo Combat Involved Anniversary Edition, where of course you got that nice feature where you can change the graphic settings on the fly to see how it looked back in the day when it first came out, and then what basically the HD or remaster version looks like, uh, which is a pretty neat feature. I kind of wish more games when they do that would have that option. Like for example, Spyro uh, recently got announced for a remaster or HD collection. Actually, it's more of a remaster in this case, so it'd be kind of cool if they had that option. Um, but that's the first one. Uh, the next one, of course, is the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, even though I have the collection pack on PlayStation, but you just can't go wrong also having it on Xbox. Uh, speaking of Metal Gear Solid, is if you guys didn't know, the Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker is actually backwards compatible with the Xbox One. So I'll be here screaming, that's my sister, of course, because my pool, my room is, I said pool, my room is out here in the garage and the pool is basically right next to my room. Uh, the next one is a only on the Xbox 360, apparently, which is the Tales of Vesperia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. Wasn't aware of this title here. And I was kind of looking up a couple of trailers and a lot of comments saying this is an underrated game and a lot of people are also hoping that this will be backwards compatible. So I'm looking forward to playing this one. Actually, I'm more than likely going to be playing this one uh, to kind of keep my mind off God of War. So that should hopefully help. 
Okay, the next one is uh, basically from the same series. This is a Dynasty Warriors game, but this is a little bit of a spin-off, which is known as Dynasty Warriors Gundam. So here is Dynasty Warriors Gundam 1. You also have the Gundam 2 Dynasty Warriors. And of course you got number 3. I was originally wanted to get these on the PlayStation 3, but I can never find any PS3 copies for a good deal. And then at the same time, they had all three of them for the 360. I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to get it for the 360. And next up is uh, Soul Calibur, which as you guys know, there's also another Soul Calibur game on the way. Uh, I don't know my Roman numerals, so whatever number this one is. Of course, we're on the Xbox. You had Yoda as a character, and on PlayStation, I believe you had Darth Vader. So there's kind of like, you know, when these games came out, depending on which console you had, you sometimes get an extra character. And of course, we also have the Armored Core 4. If anything, like I said, that mech game on the original Xbox, uh, Steel Battalion, and that would be cool if they could just do another one of those controller, big controller type layout mech games for the Xbox One. I mean, Microsoft, come on. Uh, but, you know, Armored Core 4, uh, definitely a fun little game, also by Sega. And, of course, we also have Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Gaiden, however it's pronounced, number three. I already have the other two in my collection over here, so uh, how to pick up number three. Or I might have number three as a digital copy. I don't know because um, when uh, I sold my Xbox 360 back in the day because I was upgrading to the Xbox One, um, I ended up making a completely new account where I was now known as GF Sir James. So that way it was easier so people could find me online instead of my old one where it was Fireteam Delta. However, I can't remember my email that I used for that old account. So I don't know if there's a way to kind of just look at my gamer tag and see if I could find my email that I used. So uh, hopefully I can so that way I can see what, you know, that is and try to log into that one. And see basically what digital games because I know I have a few different ones especially ones that were sent digitally as a review copy uh, the next one in question is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 which actually has the steel book for it pretty cool there's a lot of times where people were trading games with the steel book and uh, one of the tips that you can do is uh, if you ever go to GameStop or EB games and you're looking for specifically still book games and you don't see it on the shelf, you could always ask them if there's any games that they have in their drawer that has still book cases for them. And then of course, find out the price and see if it's something that you want to pay for. Yeah, again, just a nice little tip there. Of course, the uh, Final Fantasy 13. Uh, and what I like about this one, I'm, when it comes to Final Fantasy 13, not a lot of people like this game. For me, I enjoy the Final Fantasy 13 series. Do I think it's the best Final Fantasy game? No, but I do enjoy the characters in general. And of course, what I like about this version for the 360 copy is that because the Xbox 360 didn't utilize Blu-ray until the Xbox One, meaning that it was DVD, any game that was pretty large would utilize multiple discs. So for example, this one here actually has basically three discs and honestly that's a feeling that i do enjoy especially when uh, you go back to like playstation one days for like final fantasy 7 i think it was that had the four disc set uh i just like that because you feel like you're accomplished something every time it tells you please insert disc two and then insert disc three it's like you're one step closer to beating the game miss that feeling and the other one i got which unfortunately didn't have the original case is Far Cry 2, which this one is backwards compatible for the Xbox One, so the more you know. And last but not least, I also picked up an Xbox 360. Now, to kind of clarify, because I know there's going to be some confusions, like, okay, you have an Xbox One X, obviously the $500 Microsoft console, and it is backwards compatible, so why did you get a 360? The reason why is for a few different reasons. Uh, for one, when it comes to the Xbox 360, I wanted to get like the original version of the 360, you know, the one that was prone to the red ring of death issue. That's one reason. Uh, the other reason too is because when it comes to like a gaming room, everyone has their own personal ideas. Like you look behind me, this looks like a pretty neat setup. Of course, do keep in mind that I don't have my own place yet. Eventually when I do get my own place, which will hopefully be in a year or two from now, you know, I have kind of a vision in head in my mind of what I want to do. 
uh, just a few different ideas. Like for example, one idea would basically have a shelving unit where all my consoles are hooked up to different screens and basically just kind of have it like nicely displayed or maybe have a you know a few different gaming stations like uh, here's the gaming station for 4k you know like the xbox one and playstation 4 and all that and then here's a gaming station for the 1080p consoles like playstation 3 xbox 360 sort of speak so and of course then eventually at like a retro station for some of the older consoles with a CRTV. You know, everyone has their own personal ideas of what they wanted to do. And uh, for me, I personally wanted to get like the original versions of the old consoles for when I do this initial setup. So, when I asked if they had any Xbox 360s in stock, which they had plenty because at the same time they were also on sale because when I was looking through OfferUp and Craigslist and even eBay, uh, eBay prices, I didn't see any good deals as far as Craigslist and OfferUp. A lot of the ones that I've seen basically looked in pretty rough shape or just a lot of scratches or is missing the front plate of the disc tray or just the front face plate in general. And just like I said, I couldn't find anything nice. So I did ask and to kind of see what pre-owned options that they had or refurbished ones, I should say. And I found one in a very, very good condition. It has a really nice white to it, so it's not all faded and ugly looking like some of the other ones that I've seen. Uh, of course, I also picked up a 60 gigabyte hard drive for right now. Um, but yeah, but like I said, this one is in really, really good condition. I also did get the uh, uh, two year warranty. So if this does get the uh, Red Ring of Death, which again, this is a refurbished model, so I shouldn't expect it. But if it does, then I could always, again, exchange it for another one, which hopefully could be in the same condition because this one, very good condition. So this one, I'll be happy to display for sure. So there is that. And of course, I was playing it last night, so I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Just make sure everything was up and running and of course, updated. And along with it, because I wanted to go for that extra mile, I even went and made sure I got the wired controller with it instead of the wireless option. Uh, the first uh, one that we looked at actually had the wireless controller. I was like, nah, I want one with the wired one specifically. So I found one and this controller is in very, very good condition, like very mint. It's not dirty, buttons don't stick. Uh, the springs feel really, really nice. So I'm happy about that one. And of course I also got the keyboard attachment to go along with it, which basically goes into the bottom here. Put them in like so, and boom, now you got a keyboard on the bottom of your controller. And also too, the other reason why I picked up the Xbox 360 besides the whole my gaming room idea is because I also have a TV that's basically right behind you guys. And I kind of wanted something hooked up over there without having to stretch like a long HDMI cord. And so that way, you know, if I just want to lay in bed and kind of play like a casual game, then I could just do it for that reason alone. So um, that's, again, a few different reasons, you know, to kind of explain myself even though technically i don't really need to explain myself but you know it's, if you guys were kind of curious um but anyways that's pretty much it for this video if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section down below like i said three upcoming product reviews and then of course on april 20th or 19th depending on how if the video will go out in time because i'll be getting it on the 19th at the 9 p.m launch i'll be doing the god of war limited edition ps4 pro unboxing along with the god of war stone mason collector's edition until then i'll see you guys next time